Some people call the tretacephalus the poor man's frontosa, but it sure is pretty. Just coming in, tanks like real filthy. I put this in uh, the sock filter, in the seven inch sock filter. Within, I'm telling you, a week, the yellow in the water was gone. Hi everybody, John here. I want to talk a little bit about those trets. They are really a cool and pretty fish. And really when they're small like this, they look a lot like frontosa, but they never get as big. They don't get the big hump on their head like the frontosa do, but you can keep them in a smaller aquarium. I've kept trets before. They're relatively peaceful for a cichlid, and I've certainly enjoyed them. These are sub-adults, and they are uh, getting along just fine with everything else in this aquarium. Neolamprologus tretacephalus, or the five-barred cichlid, will get up to six inches long in the wild, but usually not over four inches in the aquarium. My experience with them has been that they're peaceful by African cichlid standards, but the internet suggests they become really nasty as they mature. Some people even keep them with the highly aggressive Mbuna from Lake Malawi. However, there are many YouTube videos if you Google around a little bit from home aquariums with these fish behaving themselves with other more peaceful community type Tanganyikan cichlids. Either way, these fish are worth keeping. These carnivores display bright blue bars on their sides with almost neon blue colored fins. They make a great contrast to many Tanganyikan cichlids which honestly can be a little pale and on the gray side. Trets need meaty foods with some veggies thrown in, and as rock dwellers, they require lots of caves and a sandy substrate. As you might expect, they are substrate spawners as well, and they will defend their fry vigorously. I personally have never had a spawning pair, but they do have a reputation for being difficult to spawn in the aquarium. As you would expect, trets require standard Tanganyikan water parameters with water temperatures in the high 70s, a pH in the high 8s, and hard alkaline water. So there's a look at the trets. Again, that's a cool fish. It's one that I'll definitely be keeping in this aquarium. I think it'll be a while before they outgrow it, and I'm hoping that we can keep all three of them in this aquarium and that maybe two of them will pair off, and who knows what happens after that. Thanks for watching this FinCast. Please hit the subscribe button below. It really helps things out for me here with the channel. Also, if you would, check out my other FinCasts on marine and planted aquariums as well. Leave your comments down below. Let's start a conversation about trets, shall we? Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next FinCast.